Friends, this is a mature non intumescent cataract. Let us observe the surgical steps. This is the main incision. It's a 2.8 millimeter incision on the posterior aspect of the limbus. This is a paracentesis on the left side of the main incision about 3 clock hours away and this is an air bubble. My plan is to stain the anterior capsule with tripan blue dye and here goes the dye. The dye should touch on all parts of the anterior capsule of this cataractus lens. You don't have to wait for long time after 5-6 seconds you can wash the dye out. And now inject 2% SPMC, 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. From the appearance we can say this is a non intumescent cataract but the proof is this. After making puncture, after incising the capsule, there is no leakage of any fluid. Indicates normal intralenticular pressure and we can do an adequate size to rexis in such cases at on go. We don't have to make a mini rexis first and then enlarge it. In on non intumescent cataracts we can do a large rexis at on go. This cataract is on the harder side, it is harder than uh, grade 3 plus, maybe it is grade 4. In such cases, I use a technique which I call submarine chop. I did a little bit of hydro dissection because it is non intumescent. And now is the time to introduce the tip of the FICO handpiece. Before that, a little bit of viscoelastic substance has been injected. Now, here it is. The tip is buried totally into the substance of the nucleus, goes through the nucleus towards the opposite equator, and now you use the chopper to divide the nucleus into two heminuclei. Now, in this case, I am dividing each heminucleus into three parts, two parts. Uh, here it is. This is the other heminucleus. Whenever there is an air bubble, you can just remove that air bubble to improve your visibility. And now tilt each fragment. Get onto the apex of each fragment and emulsify. Start emulsifying from the apex. It is much, much safer like this. Tilt the nucleus, get onto the apex and then use ultrasonic energy. Now in this case what I want to emphasize is during the emulsification of the last piece or last portion like from this point, go to FECO on mode and do it very gradually. Like at this point, I asked my assistant to go to FECO on mode so that vacuum is very less from 80 to 100 millimeter of mercury. Yes, emulsification and suction will be slow, but it is much, much safer. We can use posterior capsule protector at this stage, but with the machine that I am using now, the anterior chamber stability is so good that I don't have to use a posterior capsule protector. But I have devised, I have designed an instrument which I call posterior capsule protector, which I am going to show in the subsequent videos. And now after cortical cleanup, this is a hydrophobic acrylic monofocal single piece intraocular lens. 
being implanted in the capsular bag under irrigation and here you check like this if you can retract the rexis margin with the sinski hook then your haptics are in the capsular bag now once the lens is in the capsular bag nicely placed close the paracentesis openings by hydrating the stroma on either side of these stab incisions if you hydrate the stroma the stroma thickens and these openings close now this is the final lavage of anterior chamber I am not a firm believer of using intracameral moxifloxacin it's not necessary if you take all precautions if you use sterile equipments and if your wound is nicely sealed at the end of the surgery form the entry chamber nicely keep the ent intraocular pressure on the higher side check the wounds there should not be any leakage from any side and then conclude the case thank you very much for watching hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills be a great surgeon and serve the mankind with compassion and great skills